Hello everybody, my name is TwitchyJ and welcome back to Let's Play Undertale without killing anyone. Where are you going? My joystick was pulling to the left. Gotta fix that. Warning! Dog marriage. Noted. Any cameras hidden in these snow pots? A lesser dog appears. Hmm. I don't know. Should I pet? Pet. 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 Or pet. I think pet. You barely lifted your hand and lesser dog got excited. <coughs> <coughs> oh god. Excuse me. <coughs> ah. It's choking on a piece of cashew. My apologies. Bye, lesser dog. What am I looking at here? I don't recall if I uncovered this or not in the last playthrough. Is this just a map of this area? Ah, an X. What be at the X? Is it a camera? Nope, oh, it's a square. Hmm. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. I'm paranoid now. I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that Alphys has cameras everywhere. Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, it's you two. What's that smell? Where does that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. I'm not gonna move. Hmm, here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Get it? Double meaning of the word eliminate. Doggy, assault you! Hmm, dogamy or dogaressa? Roll. Oh no, damn it. The dogs sniff you again, but you smell just as weird as before. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they're saying sickly sweet things to each other. Let's roll around. Yeah. Smell like a weird puppy. Oh no. Oh yeah. Blue is don't move. Derp. Oh no. Oh, oh boy. Um, smell me again, because now I smell like a weird puppy. I smell all right. All right. I am actually a little puppy. Whoop. Whoop. Hmm, so close. Can I pet you? <gasps> Getting pet by another dog? What madness is this? you again oh I there's two of them there Duh. I need to give the other one some attention do you want to re-sniff me okay yeah you already know I smell fine I just need to pet you got it pet <gasps> a dog that pets dogs amazing what a time to be alive. Bye. Thank you for your 40 gold. Your delicious 40 gold. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world is open up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. You're welcome. Now go. Go and pet each other. Pet to your heart's content. Click. <laughs> Click. Nailed it. Whoa. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Oh man, dude, I ate every bit of it. Really? 
Wowee! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you. <coughs> will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, weird guy. <gasps> Just sneak around you. Nah. We're shaking bacon. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Probably live a sad and lonely life. With no spaghetti or anything. Human! Hmm. How do I say this? You are taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve the puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Thanks, Papyrus. So considerate. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Oh man, I've already forgotten how I am do. Is no? Is it go up? No for it. No. Is it? Cause I can't cross that. Hmm. Is it hit that? Come back. Go up. No. Are you good, Papyrus? Oh, I didn't ask for a hint. Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all of the X's into O's. You should try that. Ask again for more great hints. Well, now I gotta. Maybe solving the last puzzle again will help. Ask again for more great hints. Ah. Uh, can I go around? Nope. Didn't mean to hit that. Can I go around and attack it from this side? I can. So maybe if I go like this. And then just boop. And then boop. Yeah. That works. Wow! You solved it! My advice helped. It really helped you. It's true. Incredible! I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Papyrus, you magnificent goofy bastard. You must be really good at puzzles, huh? I mean, it's impossible for you to have seen this one before. Yeah. It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Red is no-go, got it. Yellow tiles are electric, like Pikachu. They will electrocute you. Oh no. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, <clears throat> you'll have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the watcher will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. 
Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Yes. Great. Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Oh man, I hope it's just a clear path of pink tiles. Come on, RN Jesus. Yes. Sweet. Yeah, just excuse yourself. What happened? Actually, that spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even, he'll even make something edible. This, or the machine isn't working. The machine looks awfully familiar. A floof! What are you doing? This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. On the floor inside is a box of puma raisins. That's cute. Knowing that the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Dope. Let's go a little bit further. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. Who does? It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Wow, rude. That dog has feelings, you know. Oh yes, this. this handsome snowman. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. Hmm. You didn't even try. So let's. Oh no, I fell. Oh, right, I'm spitting all over my monitor. That's cute. Click. Click. Wee! 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 Huzzah! Huzzahs all around. I can nailed it. Onward ho! There was snow on my head. What's up, guy? What's up? Mm, you never told me what lives in these these little things in the wall. Say, are you following me? No. <gasps> Gift trot confronts you. Let's undecorate him. You remove the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. To walk on it. Uh, crap. Continue on decorating it. You remove the box of non-dog related raisins. That's a little better. Oh no, oh no. Remove the box, yeah, no, another box of raisins. A weight has been lifted. Gift rats problems have been taken away. Well good. Bye. Give me old 20 gold. I forget what's in here. Oh yeah, this room. It's a door. And it has Toriel's symbol on it. So, I made it through the uh, my first playthrough without getting any kind of spoilers or anything, or looking anything up, but I remember encountering this door and not being able to get into it. I believe it's like, a, like an Easter egg, hidden kind of thing. You're supposed to, you have to complete some sort of conditions, I think, like, beat the game without killing anybody, and go through the credits without... It's a snow puff. Um, without any of the Kickstarter backers' names showing up or something like that. And then that door opens up, and it's got, like, the annoying dog and a couple other things, which the annoying dog is supposed to represent Toby, if I remember correctly. What a tiny doghouse. I'll, I'll put a link in the description with uh, 
to the the wiki page that explains that door. This, however, is a snowpoff. Surprisingly, it's a snowpoff. Snowpoff? Is it really a snowpoff? Whoop. Damn it, I was. <gasps> that one's not a snowpoff. Squeak, squeak indeed. Oh, hi. I forgot about you. It's the greater dog. I like how his gauntlets and his spear also have little dog faces. Mm. Let's just ignore him first. He inches closer. Oh no. Oh no. Aw, oh, yeah, it changes colors. That's, that's bull poopy. Just wants affection. Oh, you wanna play? His ears perk up. Nothing else happens. There we go. He just wants affection. Can I pet him? Curls up in my lap. Oh god. It's so comfortable that it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Mm. Let's pet him again. His excitement is creating a powerful a power field that prevents petting. Oh no. Bark bark. Bark bark. Bark bark. What is he doing? He's patting the ground with his front paws. Let's play with him. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Richard Dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. Good sleep. <gasps> ah, but I didn't, I stopped moving. Boo. You're gonna be all right. Stay determined. Okay. How far back do I have to go? Oh, really? Damn it. I'm gonna skip ahead. We'll be right back. Woo! And we're back. <gasps> that Snowpuff has a tail. And a head. And a great big old body. <gasps> Alright, let's not... Not... I was gonna use a... A... a idiom, but it would be inappropriate in this circumstance, so let's just say, let's not mess up this time. Let's pet him. It's too far away. Damn it, I have to ignore him. I just pet the air. Nailed it. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Ignore. Oh, you're close. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. Excuse me one second. <laughs> Greater dog just wants affection. Here you go. Curls up in my lap. He falls asleep and then wakes up all super excited. Oh yeah, I was playing stuff. Boom. Now let's play with him. Yes, bring me all of the snow, every last flake. Now he's tired. Damn it. Thought it was gonna switch in time. He just wants some TLC. Pet? Oh gosh, but you still haven't pet enough. Bark, bark, oh God, I'm actually slow. Bark, 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 bark. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Damn it. He is contented. Good, go away. Leave your gold. Get out of that armor. Don't lick my face, you. You butthead. You literal butthead. Oh yeah, this precarious bridge. Oh no. Human! 
This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror. Oh gosh. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Mm -hmm. Poor dogs. <laughs> hey guys. I don't know what's going on. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. Uh huh. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Nyeh. Heh. Heh. What a man. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. What are you trying to say? That I don't understand blue attacks? I know all about them blue attacks. Says my thumbs don't, because they're stupid. Welcome to Snowden Town. Oh, thanks. Something is tickling my nose, and I'm... I'm... <gasps> The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Save. Yes. And that's enough of that for now. I need some water. Gotta give, my, gotta give the old pipes a rest. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.